Hello everybody, my name is Ryo Blackflame and welcome to an idiot place. This time there is something different on the screen. This is actually a draft analysis, uh, because I've been, I'm now competing in a little draft league. It's not something big, it's just something small, but I really um, liked trying this and since, well, I thought why not make a video about it. Maybe other people like it, maybe not. Who knows? So. I'm competing against the Boxel Beatrell in the all GBA Showdown League, so it's just all on the Pokemon Showdown, not in the 3DS. And, well, let's see. see if you guys like it. If not, then please let me know. But I'll be, I mostly be, I'll try competing more in this kind of league because I think they're a lot of fun. So let's go on to our first pick. So my first pick of tier 1 is actually Sylveon. Why did I pick Sylveon? Sylveon is actually one of the only fairy types I really like using. And is um, a great special hitter. But with that 110 uh, special uh, base, just hits everything really hard with his pixelate hyper voice. Furthermore, I like the bulk on Sylveon. I, I always like bulk, a little bit of bulk in the team, so I can switch into better... Uh, use it to switch into some special hitters. And well... Yeah, I really just like Sylveon for that. Uh, you can also you can run something stupid it's like a choice card on uh, Sylveon, and make it just a a surprise sweeper. Sylveon is, in my opinion, a great uh, choice. Its physical defense is, of course, a little bit lacking, but I like this as my tier one since the fairy type also has an invulnerability against dragon types, which lets me, of course, switch it easily in against dragon type as uh, for as long as I know it, I can't expect another move. So let's go uh, on to our next pick. Our next pick, I couldn't be more happy with this one. It's our mascot Mega Beedrill. Mega Beedrill is often seen as a bad Mega. I don't agree with that. I think Mega Beedrill is a great one. I've used him a lot on my 3DS and I always liked using him. It's just a Great one against most of the psychic types and fairy types. One of the best counter, uh, one of the best Pokemon Mega Beetle counters is of course Gardevoir. It also hits things like, of course, Sylveon. Uh, just as my mom, of course, uh, Floragloss. It hits hard. It, I think it uh, e can easily take out a Mega Altira if it hasn't set up as Dragon Dance at least. But I think Mega Beedrill will do a lot for me. Also gives me a little bit of a pivot with U-turn, and just poison jab with the adaptability will hit like a truck. Beedrill doesn't like taking things on the physical side. He can take a couple of things on the special side, but I won't, uh, don't want to take a scald because I don't want Mega Beedrill to get burned. But I still like this Mega, and it's actually I think the squishy. Squishy is Mega drafted in this league. But let's see what Mega Beedrill can do for us, shall we? So let's go on to the next Mon. Our next pick is Gudra. Why did I pick Gudra? Well, Gudra is a great Mon. Why? Well, it's our tier 2 pick and I thought Gudra was one of the most outstanding Mons out there. Just a great, great special wall. Even with uh, even with Sapsipper, it could be a physical attack or a special attacker. Who knows? Could even uh, run something like a physical attacker with Draco Meteor, just to hit something really hard. Uh, Gudra is also uh, is the fastest, of course, and it dies to uh, a lot of physical hits. So, of course, Gudra has its limits. But as um, a dragon type, I really liked this one, and it really stood out to me. Of course, I picked uh, most of my mons here because I think. Those are fun and uh, are actually a lot of mons I have some experience with. And Gudra was one of the Pokemon I have the best experiences with uh, in a long time. Assault fest this thing and uh, special attackers can't do anything. So I think Gudra was a great choice for this team. For now I have a little bit of, I have a lot of special bulk and a little bit of physical offensive. But um, for the next pick I really knew what to pick. Ah, do I love Arcanine! Arcanine was my next pick. Arcanine is a great mon, in my opinion. It was tier th uh, 3, I think. And Arcanine is so 
freaking versatile. It can do almost anything I want. Uh, Arcanine can, is a good physical hitter. It has decent speed. It has just overall decent stats. But Arcanine, I uh, most I love running Arcanine like a physical tank. Why? Well, Arcanine has the ability Intimidate and, of course, uh, has the ability to do, uh, do a Will-O-Wisp. Arcanine is also a great switch-in, just for Intimidate purposes and, of course, landing a Will-O-Wisp and everything else. Arcanine, uh, you also can surprise people with Arcanine, just running a, a Physical Sweeper or a Special Sweeper. Arcanine can do almost everything I want. So... I really needed something like that, just something unpredictable in my team. And Arcanine was the best choice for me, and I even really like Arcanine as a model itself. So, I think this was a great pick for me. And let's go on to our next pick. At this point, I could have picked another tier 3. I could, uh, I had tier 3, 4 and 5 uh, left for me. And at this point, I saw I needed a Rapid Spinner, but I also needed a Stealth Rocket. So, I thought, why not pick both? So I picked Donphan. Donphan is uh, a great mon in my opinion, since it has the ability Sturdy, which lets me live any kind of attack even once, except if uh, there is a Skald and I get the burn on uh, the Skald. I always am able to just Stealth Rock. Donphan is also great in the Physical Offense, since his uh, 120 base stat in uh, physical offense. He j can just hit everything incredibly hard with a stab earthquake, even without any investment in it. Donphan has also has priority in ice shard, uh, which is a great move since ice shard is one of the best offensive typings. So Donphan was an exponential pick for me. I really liked the mono itself, and just Donphan will do so much for me. Even with this electric invulnerability, it, it just switches in so well against any electric type. So I really like Donphan uh, as my uh, pick, a uh, tier three pick here. So let's go on to our next one. So for this pick, I used one of my first free slots. Actually, it's a tier three free slot, so I have to trade in some points for this. But I needed Kyurem. I saw Kyra and Black being drafted and I thought, damn, I, I need a special sweeper to take care of that. And you know, one of the mons I really liked as uh, filling that role was Kyrim. Kyrim with its base 130 special stat will hit everything really hard, but its 90 speed is lacking. You can always set up things like Sticky Web, Still Winds, or even Choice Scarf the thing just to give it its speed, but you also can just let people think it's Choice Scarfed and just put something cheekies on there like a Choice Pex or something. Karum really is really great in my opinion. It has a big weakness chart that I know that best of all is my favorite typing is Ice type. But Ice is also a great physically, uh, physically I mean especially offensive type and uh, an overall a great offensive type. And Karum uh, has some great moves like Ice Beam, Dragon Pulse, Earth Power, Flash Cannon, and even if I need any more power, I can just put Draco Meteor on there. So, Karim is a great pick in my opinion. For our next pick, we've, uh, I picked my Tier 4 Mon, and it's actually one of my favorite Mons ever. It's Ditto. The Imposter set, of course. Why did I pick Ditto? It's just... My team is all that strong in the in the offensive side. I saw, so I needed something to stop people from setting up, and Ditto is the ultimate wall for that. Ditto just if you s when you bring Ditto, your opponent is like, ah, oh, no, I, if I set up a Dragon Dance, he will take it over and sweep my whole entire team, and just stops people from doing that. Ditto also just creates uh, a switch in against walls to scout out their, their sets and everything. Even that was a great mon to switch in against U-Turner, since you can use the U-Turn yourself to get out of there. Ditto is just amazing in my opinion. It's the best, uh, one of the best mons I could have ever drafted, and I'm glad I actually did. Because um, the moment I drafted it, I heard uh, someone in the someone else in the league immediately say, "Ah, no, I wanted to draft him this round." I was so relieved that I got him. 
So ditto. Excellent mon. Excellent mon in my opinion. One of the best in my whole team. And for my next pick, I picked Lapras. The tier 5 Lapras. You never see Lapras actually in a draft league, but I have seen its potential. Lapras is a great mon in my opinion. You can run it uh, with Shell Armor or Water Absorb. And my... Um, I prefer using Water Absorb, of course, but Shell Armor does uh, also does a, a lot. Furthermore, Lapras has a great... Um, Lapras is actually one of the only water type mons that hasn't access to, uh, to Skull, so that's why it's actually a lower tier in my opinion. But it does have access to Freeze Dry, and Freeze Dry is just a great move. Lapras, uh, Lapras is, um, sorry for that, that. Lapras' uh, moveset is also great. There's access to things like Heal Bell, Freeze Dry, Hydro Pump, of course, um, Ice Beam. I think it even had access to something like Thunderbolt. I'm not sure about that. Um, there's Toxic and even good coach Physical. The Physical uh, with Dragon Dance, Outrage, Eye Shot. Lepros is actually a great mon in my opinion. It will do a lot, I hope, of course. It's, of course, a tier 5 pick, so it's... Uh, for most people, it's bottom of the bucket, but let's see if we can make Lapras a fierce mon in this league. Porygon Z. Do I love this little guy? Porygon Z is a normal type. A normal type, of course, doesn't have any types effective uh, against. But man, does this little guy bring some power to this team. Of course, I needed some special still. And since Kyrum... It's fairly limited in its use. Porygon, I needed really Porygon. Porygon has access to some great abilities like Download, Analytic and Adaptability. Um, one of the... And Porygon also has access to things like Tri-Attack, Dark Pulse, Thunderbolt. It has some great coverage in its movesets. Um, Porygon also has access to Nasty Plot. If an opponent gets scared and switches out of Porygon, I could predict that and set up a Nasty Plot and this thing is almost unstoppable. The only la thing lacking about this mon, once again, is its speed. But I think it clearly makes up for that speed and its raw power it brings to my team. Porygon is a dangerous mon. And one I like very, very much. So at this point in the draft I needed some more pivots. I was actually looking uh, towards drafting something like Jolteon, but I noticed on my team I didn't have a lot of physical offense. So, I needed that in my team. So, I looked around and um, saw Mian Shao standing out. Mian Shao I've never used before, so I'm actually quite inexperienced with uh, this Pokemon. But I saw its abilities like Regenerator, even though it has low um, defensive stats, its Regenerator could help out a lot. It also has access to Fake Out, High Jump Kick, and I really needed um, some physical offensive and a fighting type. I really need a fighting type. I've, I'm normally not so into fighting types, but maybe Mian Xiao can change my mind about that. So let's see what Mian Xiao can do for our team. And then there's my last pick, Charpedo. I could have gone for a tier 2 mon, but I didn't like them. But that's what I picked, Charpedo. Brings the last bit of physical offense I needed in this team, and it has, a speed, it has the ability Speed Boost. Great just for outspeeding things. Uh, Things and it has a great, um, it has a great move set in my opinion. It has access to crunch, waterfall, poison jab, ice fang, just protect with speed boost and everything. I like Sharpedo as my last pick. People may say otherwise, but I think this is what I wanted to roll with. I even have 60 points left to use, so I always could switch in some for my mods for other ones. But for now, let's take to this. And thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.